Hey everybody, welcome to our tutorial on defining soft cloth behavior with weight maps. Uh, now if you have Icon 6, you can follow along with this uh, tutorial here. We have the project in our physics folder under our project uh, template tab right here. Uh, it's called cloth gray map, so you can load that up. And currently on the screen right now, we have three different shapes and three different tablecloths uh, in, front of, in front of us right now. So let's go ahead and press play and see what happens. You can see that all the cloths actually drape according to the shapes uh, that are above them on those poster boards there. So let's go ahead and press stop. And let's take a look at what's going on under the hood here. I'm going to just uh, rotate underneath. You can see there's actually nothing going on uh, there at all. We have nothing, uh, no shapes to hold up these cloths. So you might be wondering why do these cloths um, conform to those shapes. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of them. I'm going to select this square one here in the middle. And we're going to go over to uh, physics. You can see it currently has no active physics. But let's take a deeper look. Uh, we'll go to our scene tab and in the uh, square uh, in the um, props right here we have this square table we can move around the whole table by itself so it's connected obviously um, and let's take a look at what's underneath the square table we have this tablecloth and now if i go over to uh, physics you can see we have active physics and soft cloth selected uh, i'm going to go ahead and edit the weight map here this big button right here and this is what we're looking at in this tutorial and you can see we have our diffuse map which is just a little wrinkle in the middle there. We have the uh, freely opacity map along the outside. And then we have this weight map here, which is just a big square in the middle of a blank white sheet. So let's go ahead and take a look at this weight map in more detail. Now you may want to take a look first at the UV map. So let's go ahead and load that UV map. And you can see this UV map has lots and lots of vertexes on it. Now when you're making a soft cloth, you want to make sure you have a very uh, an object with very uh, high vertex count because if you don't, you're going to have some really strange results. And you want a very silky flowing uh, cloth because most cloth behaves like that in real life. So you want to make sure that when you load your UV map for your prop, that it has a very high count like this. And this is uh, exactly what we're looking for. So if you're wondering, you know, why is my uh, why is my cube not having proper soft cloth results? Then you probably want to take a look at the UV map and you probably have like, I don't know, four four polygons or something like that. So you want to make sure that you have a very high polygon. So let's go ahead and close this down for now. Go back to iClone and I'm going to load up the uh, weight map here in Photoshop. So you can see we have this uh, simple square right here and what I want to do is change this. I'm going to change this and see what happens. Let's go ahead and uh, take a uh, rectangle tool and I'm going to make it white first of all. So make sure 255, 255, 255 and I'm just going to draw over this. doesn't really matter. We can just uh, you know merge that back into our uh, background right there, and then let's go ahead and create a custom shape. Let's have fun with the shapes here. So I'm going to go ahead and go to custom shape tool, and then up here in shapes, I'm using Adobe CS6 here by the way. Up in shapes, let's find something like uh, something cool. I don't know. Let's choose this uh, maybe a copyright symbol, and let's just go ahead and draw a big copyright symbol right here in the middle. But we want to make sure that we. Uh, Put the fill in there so control z and do that let's change our fill to black and see what happens there uh, i think that looks pretty cool right there so there we have our copyright weight map and let's go ahead and just go file save and we'll just save it make sure we save it as a jpeg here and go ahead and replace it yes and okay and let's go back to uh, iclone and now we have this weight map that looks like this and let's see what happens when we press play you can see we have this cool little copyright um, weight map right here. Now basically with weight maps, in case you haven't already guessed, any area that is pure black will not really be affected by the physics. So it will exhibit no, no, uh, no draping behavior. But anything that's white will basically be fully affected by the physics. And if we uh, you know, rotate this, uh, rotate this tablecloth like that, for example, you can see there's a different physics behavior. It'll kind of be a little bit less noticeable right there so um, let's make sure we're in our preview camera here so we don't have any unintended animation going on here um, so let's just maybe rotate that back to relatively where it was and let's take a look at this weight map here on this object so the round table let's select the tablecloth on the round table go to our physics and we're going to edit this weight map as well but with this weight map we're going to do something a little bit different Let's just go ahead and use our erase tool. We can just use the bracket key to make it larger. 
And so now we have a completely white weight map. And let's go ahead and use our uh, brush tool now. And I'm going to actually make a very, very large brush here. So let's use our bracket key again to uh, zoom up. So a very large brush size you can see is about a 1,000. And if I just click once, oh, we're going to make sure we have a, a black color going on here first. So if I just click once, you can see because of the brush I selected, I have a nice kind of gradient going on here. And that's all I want to do. I'm going to go ahead and press uh, go to file and go to save. And we're going to save that. Let's go back to our weight map and iClone. And you can see we have this kind of interesting looking weight map. Now, if I press play on this one, take a look at what's going to happen. We're going to have a very kind of drooping weight map um, because there's really only a pure black spot in the very middle. Now, if we want to kind of adjust this with a gradient, we can, also, we can use our brightness and our contrast sliders. So let's decrease that brightness. Let's maybe increase that contrast a little bit and press play and see what happens now. Now you can see we have a nice uh, circular tablecloth again. It's a little bit more draped around the edge, or a little bit more beveled uh, around the edge there, you can notice. Um, that's because we have this, you know, fading going on here. If we increase the brightness all the way up to like 100, you press play, yeah, we have no, uh, nothing holding that, uh, that physics object up right there. We can take it all the way down to like, uh, you know, zero, and it will just give us this error right here. It says we cannot create any sort of physics properties from that. So we'll just take it back down to like, you know, here. And if we, you know, have the contrast, something like that, we can get a more interesting result. You know, something more graduated like that. Now, just to end off this tutorial, let's take a quick look at the embedded uh, content that we have with iClone. So we're going to go over to content here and we'll go to our uh, props. In our props folder, we have, uh, let's go to our physics. And then in physics, I'm just going to undock my content manager here. And in physics, I'm going to press control one and give us this detail view here. We have cloth template gray, cloth template pinned, and constraint props. Let's take a look at cloth template gray. And let's take a look at this soft cloth 64 by 64. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit here, make room for this cloth, and we're just going to bring this in. Now the difference between the 64 by 64 and the 32 by 32 is simply just poly count. And I will show you what I mean in just a moment. So we're going to rotate this one up. Now take a look at this one. We have, if you take a really close look, you can see those four little black uh, dots right there. And those indicate the black spots on the uh, weight map. So we, if we, you know, select that and we go edit weight map, you can see we have those very four little faint black spots on the top. So you can probably guess what that's going to be doing. If I press play, it's going to be suspending that, uh, you know, map or that uh, soft cloth right there. Now you may notice that there's a little bit of a jumpy behavior right there. If I wanted to, you know, have a better result, obviously, when we're doing soft cloth physics, you can also go down to uh, by frame here instead of real time and press play. And then you get a more, you know, relaxed result like that. And uh, that's just your basic uh, constraint right there. Let's just start a new project right now just to uh, keep it easy on our computer. And let's go to down here to our soft cloth props. And let's take a look at a couple of these. So this fishing net one is kind of interesting. If I load this in, you can see we have this fishing net. And it's kind of cool. We got a, a little mesh going on there. Let's take a closer look at this uh, fishing net right here. So right now, you can see if we go to material list, we just have the uh, stick going on. And let's go over to our uh, stock, our content manager here. Let's go to scene. And you see we have the torus right there and the net. So the net is this one right here. You can see we have that crisscross opacity map, which is creating this, um, you know, opacity or this transparent stuff right here. Um, so let's take a look at what happens when we press play. Oops, we are missing the uh, action right there. We're a little bit too low. One more time. There you can see we have that kind of cool looking uh, mesh right there. This is a, a very interesting uh, prop. So let's take a look at how we achieve that, uh, that weight map or that result for the uh, soft cloth physics there. Let's go to the physics. Of course, when we have the net selected, let's go to the physics and let's check a look at the weight map. So here you see the weight map. We have the opacity and diffuse maps right there. And the weight map kind of has black all around the outsides, um, but only has white on the inside. So the inside is being affected, you know, by the soft cloth physics, but the outside is being pinned um, to that object because we have connected this mesh to the fishing net prop. One more cool one I'd like to take a look at is uh, in the content manager. Let's go ahead to uh, kite right here. This one has an interesting weight map. 
And so if we have this kite, we press play. You can see we have, uh, oops, maybe we want to delete that, uh, the net right there. Let's take a look at the kite. So there we have, uh, you know, it's kind of just flopping right there and we have the ribbons going in the wind. We'll have a separate tutorial about how to apply, uh, you know, artificial wind to your props. So let's take a look at this, uh, weight map here. We'll go to our uh, physics. Again, edit weight map. And we have a uh, crisscross right there. So you can see we have a nice, really nice, colorful diffuse map but a very simple uh, weight map. If I want to replace this weight map by, you know, for any reason, I can just simply double click it. And I have a couple of weight maps here that I just have saved. If I want to go to a hexagon weight map, for example, let's take a look at that one. Now you can see we just kind of flop into that hexagon shape. And if I took my kite and I rotated it, we can probably get a better result right there. There we get that nice looking uh, hexagon tablecloth. It looks like a fairly nice tablecloth, actually. All right, so anyways, that's kind of how you uh, mess around with uh, weight maps. If I go over here and I select uh, this, you know, material on my kite, let's go actually over to uh, the scene right here and let's select the uh, ribbon right there. So this ribbon, let's take a look at this one. Obviously, we have physics on that one as well. If we edit the weight map on this one, you can see we have that little, little sliver of uh, black along the top there, and that correlates with the uh, pinned part of the uh, soft cloth prop right here. If we launch that in Photoshop, you'll be able to see a very, very thin, uh, let's make this brush a little bit smaller, a very, very thin layer of black along the top. So that's very useful if you're making, you know, things like ribbons or uh, or capes and stuff like that. Uh, it really depends. Um, weight maps are pretty much all up to you. You can create any sort of pattern you like to have all sorts of different effects. I'm just giving you a couple of examples here. Um, but that's about it. So that's uh, the tutorial on weight maps. Again, we have other tutorials on soft cloth for clothing as well as, uh, you know, creating wind effects for soft cloth as well. So thanks for watching, everyone, and hopefully you learned a little bit about uh, weight maps.